When comparing both desktop and laptop GPUs, you have to wonder why the laptop GPU is just so much weaker than the desktop version. They both have the same identical name, but have nowhere near the same performance. Today we'll be taking a deep dive into why these laptop graphics cards are just so much worse than their desktop counterpart. Before we look at why these GPUs differ, we need to first look at the actual performance of the two. For example, there are three different variants of the RTX 3070, the desktop version and the two laptop versions. The laptop versions are powered at either 80 watts or 115 watts and the desktop variant comes in around 200 to 220 watts. We are aware that there are other versions, but we're going to use this as a general baseline. As seen on the graph, the average difference between the laptop 115 watt 3070 and the desktop version is around 35% at 1080p but this is reduced down to 30% on a 1440p display. The 80 watt variant is obviously worse off. Compared to its desktop counterpart, it's 53% slower at 1080p and 54% slower on 1440p. The main question is, why is there such a big difference? There are a few factors that contribute to poor performance on a laptop variant of a GPU. The first one is the overall power needed by the GPU. For example, the standard RTX 3070 that you'd find in a desktop needs 220 watts. So asking for a 110 watt laptop version to get the same performance is way too much to ask. The strongest laptop GPU on the market at the moment is the RTX 3080 Ti. There's no coincidence that it's the most power hungry GPU on the market, needing 80 to 175 watts, depending on its variant. Where if you look at the 3080 Ti on the desktop, it could take up to 350 watts. The need for these cards to run on less power is not all bad. It has forced GPU manufacturers to make these laptop GPUs way more efficient than the desktop counterpart and allows them to deliver better performance per watt than a desktop version. Another reason why laptop GPUs perform way worse than the desktop version is cooling. Cooling with a desktop and laptop are two completely different animals. If a laptop GPU gets too hot, it'll begin to thermal throttle, which basically means the card will reduce the amount of power it pulls to create less heat. And as you saw in the previous graphs, there's a major difference in performance based on the power the GPU is getting. Desktops have the luxury of one thing. They could be much bigger. The more space inside of a desktop, the more room there is for better cooling solutions. For example, the fans in a laptop aren't attached directly to the GPU, so those fans are used to cool other components, like the CPU. Also, the case fans in the desktop allows for fresh air to constantly be recirculating throughout the system, which allows for fresh air to be pulled right through the heat sinks and cool your graphics card. Laptops are built to be small and portable, so they use their limited space in the most efficient way possible. This is why you see laptop cooling stands all over the place. Overheating has always been an issue with laptops, especially when you have a very power-hungry GPU. So at the end of the day, then why are they called 3070s if they perform like a 3060? Or why are they called 3060s if they perform like 3050s? Well, at the end of the day, it's just for marketing. Nvidia can name it whatever they want, but when you buy a laptop with a graphics card, you want to think you're getting the best of the best, or close to the best of the best. Yeah, in some of these variants compared to their desktop, you won't even see the same amount of VRAM, and you won't see even sometimes the same chips. But they got you with the name, and will you even notice the difference? The links to the sources we used to make this video will be in the description below. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing for future content.